Three weeks after Syracuse City Hall established its emergency loan program, 29 businesses are splitting a total of half a million dollars and already cashing the checks. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan takes us to a popular chain of cafes where this money is a jolt to their interrupted business. Small Brazil cream only. Mick is a Cafe Kubal regular, but the way he has to order isn't so regular. Sitting in his car, he calls in or uses the internet on his phone. Then the barista leaves it on a table near the door. To see people uh, adjusting to new conditions and then still being loyal to our brand is really nice. Eastwood is the only Cafe Kubal open. The other six are closed. Owner Matt Goddard had to reduce his staff of 77 to just four. It was really tough. I love my employees so much and I'm uh, intertwined in their lives on a daily basis. So to have that all come to a screeching halt was very difficult. Despite Goddard's regular premium payments, his business interruption insurance won't cover him. That's another story for another time. It was a, it was a major disappointment, but I, I hear that they're doing it throughout. That's generally their stance. His last hope, a $10,000 check from his city. Quickly, the longer businesses have to wait for help, the less likely they are to ever open again. The reason we were able to move so quickly with Setco is because it's locally controlled. Uh, we have the re existing relationships with the businesses. Kubal will spend the money on converting an old van into a food truck for coffee as the pandemic forever changes customers' habits. Well, I want people to be happy with their cup of coffee. I mean, that's why I got in this business to begin with. I love coffee. I love people. And if it changes, it changes. But uh, we're ready for whatever happens. The daily grind might look a little different, but with a little jolt, the spirit is as strong as ever. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And for every business that got a loan, just about the same number was turned down of those that applied based on what they plan to do with the money and how much their struggle is based on the pandemic. The city is working to get some federal stimulus money to put toward more business funding. Mayor Walsh says he's willing to help anyone, though, if not directly with money, by guiding them to other sources.